Hey there guys, uh, it's Christmas, so to celebrate, Chaos Nova are going to read some of the samples uh, that we've got up on our website at chaosnova.co.uk and uh, this also has another purpose, we're hopefully going to be doing a few live ones of these on Google Hangouts and that sort of thing so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Right now, right now, I've got one of our reading samples called The Salvage Mission and uh, I hope you are sitting comfortably. Unidentified vessel, please respond. Covered in sweat, eyes focused on the cracked screen. He made another desperate attempt. Unidentified vessel, this is Nully Verix of Salvage Craft Theory. I highly recommend you alter course. The console remained silent. Nully blew the air out of his cheeks. The ripped pilot seat groaned as he sat back. He'd never understood why people were so determined to test the cloud. While the phenomenon's nature was not fully understood, it was clear enough that its vicinity was dangerous and tales of odd occurrences were spreading all over the homeworlds. Some thought of it as a gateway to ascension, others believed it a door to other worlds. As far as Nali had witnessed, the cloud only meant certain death, and as the only salvage operator in the area, he had taken it upon himself to warn others. Dome projection. His voice was coarse, dry. Everything went dark, only the beeps and static noises indicating the system's working. Then the overhead lit up with external display of otherworldly hues, intense enough to drown out starlight. Gnarly had seen the cloud many times and still felt humbled. He saw a speck of movement, the unidentified vessel, and felt his heart jump. Zoom! The view settled around the indicated area. Gnarly stood and folded his arms, his sight fixed to the other ship. Unmarked reclaimer? He frowned. Change channel to REC4! He rushed back to the console. Salvage craft theory to unidentified reclaimer vessel. Change course. This area is unsafe. Turn around before... The ship was caught in a flashing arc, and Gnarly watched in horror as it disappeared from sight. He closed his eyes and felt calm automation take over. The galaxy took its own, whether he liked it or not. The debris from the wreckage wouldn't arrive for a while. Gnarly decided to feed himself in the meantime. He turned around to handle a clunky hatch, the only visible remnant from the vessel he the command module was once taken from. Gnarly kept the cookery dim. This way the stacks of empty containers and wrapper build-up didn't bother him as much. He would have avoided the room and its clutter altogether, but he disciplined himself to have at least one warm meal in a waking cycle. He did keep his meal times minimal though, and the door closed tight as if to curb an infection. Nully gave a half-hearted attempt to pick out a meal pack for warming, then decided against it and walk, walked away chewing on a portion of Bora jerky. He returned to the command and stood idly, watching the screen. He squinted. What on right? A series of arcs flashed across the section of the cloud again, and a moving speck appeared from the arc's conjunction. Zoom! Gnarly held his breath, the image adjusted, and his eyes widened. It was the same ship he'd seen before, mostly in one piece, it seemed. He rubbed his forehead and frowned, then settled into the pilot seat. Set course to the unidentified vessel. Evade debris. The computer buzzed and clicked while Gnarly fastened a seat harness. It felt worn but held tight. A countdown appeared. Gnarly tensed as he felt Theory's engines come to life. He felt the familiar tone from the drives humming in Theory's whole body. Built from scraps like the rest of the ship, they purred the tune of good care and regular maintenance. The slight tug in his stomach let him know that thrusters were, for, were performing impeccably. He relaxed and continued chewing his jerky. So that's part one of Synax Salvage, and you can read the whole thing on uh, chaosnova.co.uk under the reading sample section, or if you stay tuned, part two will be coming up shortly. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. See you soon!